Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some very, very lucky people. Turn off his life support. When I was lying in hospital and thought, gee, I mightn't survive this. I'm only 37, and at 37 I, I've got so much to look forward to. He didn't know it, but that included an engagement, a new job, the new car, and even more good luck when we asked Bill to reenact buying his scratchy ticket. Basically this man right here won loads of money in the lottery. He was in a coma, not doing the best in life, and he obviously got a uh, survive, thank God. He'd done a scratch card and he won the lottery. So obviously, like, it was kind of big news. The people basically asked him to recreate it. And guess what happened when he done that? I just won 250,000. <laughs> I'm not joking. You're not, are you? Really? I just won 250,000. Oh. Exactly, how do you do that? <laughs> oh, oh, please don't come in. So he bought a scratch card and won the car, so then obviously he was asked to recreate it and he won 250,000 pounds, or like Australian dollars, whatever the currency is. I don't know what type of car he got, but it probably was a very good one, so he's basically made like 300 grand. I just want to know what type of manifesting he done because I need it in my life. Okay, what's gonna happen? Wait. Wait, they're zooming in. What's this gonna mean? Something's happened, but I don't know what. It's gonna be a jump scare, isn't it? Oh my god, there. He just hit a bird. Oh my gosh, did you just see that? We need to replay that, like I swear you could literally see him hitting a bird. Look, right, so it's zooming up and then it hits a bird. You literally see the bird fall, so he hit the bird. I'm assuming that bird like died, like f me, that's like a plane falling from the sky. That poor wee bird was proper just going for a wee fly and zoom around and it got hit. Task failed successfully. <laughs> How are they gonna get that down? <laughs> I just feel bad for the janitor or whoever has to like deal with that. Thinking about it now, whenever I was in school, we used to get these wee sticky alien things and we used to like flick it up and like stick it to the ceiling. I'm pretty sure they've been stuck there for a few years. Okay, this does not look good. The quality's really bad. What was that? Ew! That thing literally just flicked something at him. What was that? Was that like a dolphin or like an octopus? I think it was. Nah, octopuses scare me. Whenever I find out that they literally have like tentacles which are sticky, they like stick the things. That's whenever I got afraid to die. Absolutely not. Okay, so someone's got something stuck in the vending machine. And it's gonna get stuck again. What would you do if this happens? Because this just always happens to me whenever I get treats. You just have to like shake it. You literally would just have to shake it, but then that might possibly set the alarm off. Honestly, the worst thing ever is whenever you want a treat and it gets stuck. There's literally nothing you can do. Oh no, we got someone. Oh! Whoa! Okay, never mind. That is... Uh-uh. No, that wasn't even funny. That was actually scary. Why do people do that? It's a parkour, people. I don't understand why you'd ever want to do that. Like, honestly, whenever it comes to me, if I'm gonna go snowboard and I'm sticking to the road, I ain't going under them walkway things. Day 9 of zooming into random people in Google Maps or Google Earth until they see this and jet me. Okay, in 2015, I traveled to New York. It seems like Google Earth was there at the same time as me. Let's see it. Oh, dun, dun, dun. There she is. That's her. Oh, God. Imagine that you were caught, like, kissing or, like, picking your bum. I mean, Google Maps or Google Earth, whatever you call it, it's got some weird photos. There have been a few times whenever I went on to it and I've looked at the stuff and I'm like, mm, that seems a bit fishy. Okay, I thought this was golf, but it looks like a hockey stick. What's gonna happen? They're not gonna get it in the hole, are they? They use a hockey stick. It got in. Hi. How? How could you literally do that? I mean, that's probably best if they got a hole in one rather than literally taking out a bird. Oh god, that got stuck in his nose. See, I seen a video like that a while ago where basically someone blew it and it went into like a Chinese woman's mouth or like it went into someone's face behind them. I look, he want to do that because like it's funny, but like I also don't want to get punched. We got there, Jared. Couple of snags. Couple of snags, mate. Nothing better than Dana beer. Snags. Oh! Snag. Oh, God. 
That's very Australian, isn't it? What was that? Was that a bird or an eagle? I don't know what that was, but something just flew down and snatched the food. That video literally streams Australia. The accent, the fact that they're cooking it out in the middle of a forest. If that were me, I actually would like somehow burn something and start a proper forest fire. Oh my god, I love this video. It's my favorite video. Watch this. Three, two, one. Something's gonna hit him in the face. It's a Greg's bag. Honestly, it's if it's Greg's, of course it is. That is just so embarrassing. Like that could happen at any time, but of course happen whenever he was in live TV. Do you want to know something? That's what I love about TV. Just weird things happen. Okay, someone by the looks of it have gotten their new car. What's gonna happen? They're gonna crash it, aren't they? Oh no. Oh. Did you? Oh my god, a proper flipped. Yeah, running safe, he's okay. Technically, that car left the company because it, like, crashed outside, so he ain't getting his money back. He's gonna have to pay for another one. Also, fun fact, did you know whenever you get, like, an expensive car, the minute it leaves, like, the facility, like, the car place, it automatically goes down in a load of value. And judging by the way that's going, he's gonna be lucky if he's alive or can drive again. Not another golfing video. What's gonna go on? Oh. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, <laughs> how did that happen? That shouldn't have happened, how did that happen? That really was what are the odds? Oh my God, that is unlucky. He's lucky it didn't hit his head. Like imagine if that hit his head, if it's able to do that to a car, imagine what it would do to a human skull. Oh no, here's more CCTV, what's gonna happen? Oh, is that a tire or an animal? It's a tire. And it rang the doorbell as well and it was also on fire did you see that it was proper smoking that's like a big fear of mine like i feel like every time i watch these videos i get new fear like imagine you're literally driving down the car trying a big tire hits your car and literally takes you out i used to be scared of like them big metal chips and now scared of tires okay here we have a skateboarder and the skateboard got stuck thank god that wasn't his ankle oh my god lord almighty he's lucky that was not his ankle because if that were his ankle it would snap on him. oh god i nearly had a stroke there he should be happy that that wasn't his ankle because if that were his ankle it would have snapped off and that right there is why I don't do skateboarding. Oh my god, yet again, another golfing clip. What is up with these golfing clips? <gasps> oh my god. That's literally what just happened in the car video. That's what I was talking about. Ouch. Oh my god, that literally could have went through his head. Now, I'm sorry. Usually whenever you think of wearing a helmet, it's for going on like a motorbike or like a bicycle or like skateboarding. Apparently now you're gonna have to wear full on defensive gear for going golfing. Okay, here's like a really big Rubik's Cube World Cup. I bet you they're not gonna put their hands on in time. But look at the way they're proper flicking it. Is it gonna like explode or are they gonna not do it the right way? They're not gonna put their hands on. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my god. So you're telling me two people from Germany were going up against each other and one of them beat the other one by one millisecond. One millisecond, do you realise how short that is? A millisecond just passed, probably like 15. Nah, that's actually illegal. That shouldn't happen, that's a glitch in the system. Okay, here we have a paper airplane. Where's it gonna go? Is it gonna come back like a boomerang? What's gonna happen? Is it doing lifty lifts? Like, what's actually happening? I can't see it. It's completely disappeared. Oh, here it comes. It comes back. Woohoo, and he caught it. I remember I used to have a paper plane making set and I used to be obsessed with it. I make so many types of paper planes. That would never happen to me. Like, how is that possible? Is it like busy? It must be the way like the air is, but honestly, that's cool. I used to play in these monkey bars all the time whenever I was younger. Whoa! Oh my god, I have to do gymnastics and I couldn't even do that. He is like a contortionist in bars. Look at him. He's like zooming around like an animal how can he do that oh i can do that see that right there i could do that when i done gymnastics he's gonna let go oh never mind it snapped probably best that he didn't try to do a flip that's probably god's way or like nature's way of saying right we know you're showing off we know you've got a talent but let's stop oh my god if he let go like he probably would have snapped his neck let me get you come on over here man if you're up here and anybody hits the back of my patrol car it's a good chance you're gonna get caught somewhere in between that car and your car okay and if you're not caught in between, you may still get struck by the one of the vehicles. Very true. I don't want that to happen to you. He seems like a nice officer. <gasps> Just like that, see? Oh! Just like that. Damn! Oh my god! 
What the hell? Yeah, she's very lucky that police officer tried to take care of her because Jesus Christ. That could have ended up with her being turned into jam. Oh my God, no, I don't like these clips. This is like someone doing parkour. I don't like parkour. They're going to jump into a river if they big great white sharks and eat them. Right, backflip. Boom, I swear I've seen a shadow. What's going to- ah! Oh my God. Oh my God. They didn't die in the end, thank God they were fine. But God, that's where we're going to end the video. Anyways, guys, that is what are the odds. That is some very weird things that shouldn't have happened, especially that last one, because the guy nearly recreated Jaws. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, press the big red subscribe button. And yes, I'll see you all in the next video.